Hey, how's it going you guys? So I recently had the good fortune of being invited down to the shoe release party for the new Vans Ave. So yeah, I got flown down and I got to go in business class for the first time in my life. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I could, I could get used to that. <laughs> and on the way in, I really got a good idea of just how massive the LA area actually is. All the other times I've been sitting uh, facing towards the coast, so I couldn't really see the city in its full scale. It just kept going and going and going. Um, it was kind of mind blowing to me. And on that first day, I met up with a friend of mine named Alex from Tacoma, and we went to the courthouse. And one of my favorite things about LA is, as soon as you go somewhere, you just always run into people in the industry. So I got to run into Kelly Hart there, TJ Rogers was there. And we got to have some good conversations and some fun skating. So it was a good time had by all. Later that day, I checked into the downtown LA proper hotel. It was quite the nice place. Um, definitely felt kind of spoiled there. Hey, what's this? Cool. Whoa, whoa, it's like a tennis ball. I have definitely never worn a pair of shoes this color before. Yeah, they're cozy. I think this is what soccer cleats feel like. Pretty decent look down too, actually. Okay, but wait, but wait, they weren't done. There's a bag of coffee with Abe on it. Um, do you guys know me or something? <laughs> and the next morning we had a free day, so we went out to Wilshire Boulevard to check out some of those famous spots and just see them in person for ourselves. Um, I may put out a long form video of this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm trying to keep it kind of short, just the highlight reels. Later on that day, we went to a skate jam at Hollenbeck Plaza. So that was a pretty fun park. I think if it wasn't full of a ton of people, I would probably like it a lot, but I really do not enjoy skating in front of a lot of people. Thankfully though, Chris Roberts and the guy who films him named Tim, they were both there and I got to just kind of hang out with them and chat and like not feel like I stuck out like a sore thumb being there. Still had a good time, but I was so nervous that like I totally bailed on a nollie backside off this ledge, which is like such an easy trick, fell on my hand and kind of thought I might've broken it at first, but um, four days later, it's feeling pretty good. I think it was fine. I just like, you know, bruised something pretty good. And then the next morning after that, we went and had a session at the curbs. Got to see Raj there. And, um, you know, once again, try and skate the curbs on my tiny wheels that are not the right durometer. Yes, I forgot to bring the new Spitfire 93As and um, made the experience of skating the curbs way too hard and unpleasant once again. Next time, I swear I'll bring the right wheels. But um, either way, we had a really good time. And we also later that day went to the Santa Monica Civic Center, which is a super fun spot full of a whole bunch of curbs, manual pads. So we had a good time there. And then later that night, there was the actual shoe release and a panel discussion with Ave, which I totally blew it on filming anything for that, you guys, you'll have to forgive me. Um, I did get to talk to Ave at one point, and that was really interesting hearing some of the inspiration behind his shoes, and we talked a little bit about decks, but um, yeah, it was cool, he was a very friendly guy. So that was the trip. I wanna say a huge thanks to Vans for sending me out there. That was amazing. And now it's time to get into the shoe, because this thing is interesting. Okay, so there's pros and cons to any shoe. And the first thing I think you're gonna need to know about when trying this shoe is the fit, the size. So in my experience, it definitely is pretty snug. Like I have a narrow foot and it felt really snug right away. But 
the knit does actually open up a little. I still haven't had to use the laces even a week later. Like the snugness of the shoe overall keeps my foot in. If you have a very wide foot, you may notice that there's this one plastic point right here. If you have a very wide foot, your foot might go on there. So I would suggest if you have collapsed arches or a super wide foot, try these on in store. Also the tapered toe, Again, if you have like a super wide flared out foot at the front, it might not be the right one. So I will always recommend with any shoe, trying it on in a shop if you have the luxury to do so. One initial problem area can be right here. It can pinch and poke into your toes. I found that as the shoe warms up, it becomes less of a problem. I also found that just pushing my foot to the front of the shoe and doing this, as the shoe warms up, helps get rid of it. The first day was fairly uncomfortable, but I'm about a week into the shoe and it's not a problem anymore. So just know that it does go away. Okay, now how it breaks in. I would say I couldn't skate my best on day one. By day three, it felt fully broken in. The kickflips at first, you're like, wait, why isn't it grabbing my kickflips? You know, if you skate a regular vulcanized Vans, it really grabs your kickflips. This shoe takes about three days before it breaks in just right. And it has a very precise kickflip. So it inspires me to do a lot of like flip trick manuals, flips out of manuals or slides. It has that kind of feel. It's super precise. Whereas sometimes when I'm skating a shoe with a lot more rubber and super thick, it just grabs it too much. Whereas this one, it's just a quick, nice flick, really nice for front side flips. I enjoy things like half cab flips in them. Just overall, I would say once the flick fully broke in properly, I think it's really good. Heel flips, this one took me a bit. Okay, so my first experiences in heel flips on this was this plastic part right here is slippery. It doesn't grip properly. So on some of my first heel flips for the first few days, they were pretty unpredictable and kind of wimpy. Uh, I've been skating these for about two weeks now. Not this exact one. I have two pairs, right? I have the tennis ball colored ones and I have these. But now I can heel flip predictably and I can lift them pretty decently. Uh, I would say a regular vulcanized shoe, you know, like a Vans old school, I could still pop my heel flips a little bit higher, but um, I've gotten used to it. At first, I didn't think I was ever going to get used to it. What I would say it's amazing for is all of your rotational heel flip tricks. Because of the fact that it doesn't grab too much, it kind of lets go at exactly the right time to make some tricks even easier. So a perfect example would be switch front side heel flips. So that's a trick that I'm not super consistent on. I'd say I get like 30 to 50% on average, but it's almost ridiculous. Like I'd say my land rate is like 90% in these shoes instantly just from switching shoes. Like this plastic heel thing is like my switch front heel cheat code. It's super crazy. Okay, next let's get into probably one of my favorite things about this shoe and it's the sole. So it has a decent midsole in here, good impact protection. But my favorite thing about having a more firm sole is that when I kick down on the nose or tail of my board, like to pop a trick, I don't lose so much energy. When you have a twisty, floppy, flexible soled shoe, you lose a lot of energy because the shoe just kind of mushes around the nose or tail. Whereas when you have a shoe like this, all of that energy, is going right into the board. And so I feel like I'm more consistent and have more accuracy in my tricks because it's doing what I tell it to instead of the shoe absorbing a whole bunch of that information and energy and just not transmitting it into the deck properly. So I definitely like it from that perspective. And I think this sole is also really well designed and worth taking a look at. So the highest wear spots on a shoe on the sole are usually right here and right here. And as you can see, they don't actually have the, uh, you know, all the little like waffle imprint on there. This is not worn out. They've actually just put more material on the high wear points, even on the heel right here. So that's the first time I've ever seen a design like that, where they're intentionally putting more rubber on the spots that wear out faster. So that's going to help with durability on this shoe. So I wasn't sure about the grip in these shoes at first, but that was because I was skating Southern California, which is covered in sand and dust and wax. 
Once I got this back home to Canada, I noticed that it is pretty grippy. The only difference in grip between this and say your regular Vans waffle cup is that I think because this has a more supportive, firmer sole, it will feel like there's less grip, but I think the rubber is actually more or less the same. So I would say the grip is definitely adequate in these shoes. And one other thing to note versus a warmer climate to a colder climate, I think because this shoe does have a fair amount of plastic components in it, that it breaks in a little bit quicker in a warm climate. When I was in SoCal, the yellow ones I was skating felt like they broke in in you know, a day or two. And up here in Canada, being early spring, these ones took, I'd say, a couple days longer. So it was about four days in that I really started to feel comfortable and at home in these shoes. Let's get into the design and the overall look of this shoe. So as a parent of a whole bunch of kids in soccer, it was obvious to me that this was inspired by a soccer cleat and I did have a brief conversation with Ave, and he was saying yeah soccer cleats were definitely part of the inspiration towards this shoe and I think that's a really interesting take so what I've noticed about this and where I do feel like it is similar is we have a nice firm sole and then we have not a lot on the upper so I would say this is comparable to something like an old school or even a slip on when it comes to, you know, like how much board protection there is on top, should it choose to hit you on the foot, but also how much connection and board feel you have to the side of your board. So like soccer players, for example, they want to have a shoe that's formed around their foot. So every time they kick that ball, it's not hitting some weird lump on the shoe that they have a solid connection and that ball is doing exactly what they tell them to. And I did feel that overall, because of the firm sole, because of the thin upper, that I really feel connected to the board and it does what I tell it to. Again, this shoe inspires confidence in me to skate uh, at my technical best, to be honest. Like, I don't know if you guys have had this experience where you put a shoe on and you can tell that it is helping you skate. And there's some shoes that you put them on and you can tell that they're hurting your skateboarding, like that you're a worse skateboarder from putting them on. So um, this one definitely doesn't do that. It does not impede my ability to skateboard, which is a big plus. I also want to note that when I first saw this design, like the product photos, I was like, I'm not 100% sure about this, you guys, uh, to put it lightly. But once I saw it on foot, like when you have the pants covering here, I think it actually has quite a nice look. And I also think that this is just a really bold and interesting direction to take skateboard shoes in. So I think often people get a little taken aback when they see a shoe like this that is clearly venturing into like a high performance athletic shoe. In the long run, we might actually see this type of thing happening more because in my experience, the performance is actually really good with the only potential risks, again, is that you just don't have a lot of protection from your foot, but with the benefit of board feel. Anyways, that's about all I have to say about this shoe. I'm really interested to hear what your guys' experience are. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And as always, I wanna say thanks for watching. Big thanks to Vans. And hope you guys are doing really well, whether you're on your board or off your board. Hope you're doing well. Till the next one.